Hey, this is Jeff with Eternity Shore, and it is a beautiful day um, in mid-October. Came to the boat to do a couple things. I might actually take it out myself. It's really quiet still to do a pump out and spend a little time on the water. If you've been following along all the, the drama I've had with fuel pumps, etc., cetera, um, just real quick to review. When we first crossed the Chesapeake with this boat, this electric fuel pump on the port side failed. So you can see back in May 2017, I had Joe replace this fuel pump, uh, the electric fuel pump. The electric fuel pump on the starboard side, I felt began to fail. So I ordered from Man Cave Mechanic a fuel pump, an aftermarket fuel pump that's not painted on the inside because we feel like the paint chips are what's causing the clogging. But we were on a trip recently, and if you saw that one, you realize we were supposed to go to Harvard Grace, but I had to end up replacing this fuel pump on the hook. Not fun, but I was able to do it. Now, shout out to one of uh, my subscribers, Brooke, because in this discussion about paint chips, etc., he sent this parts bulletin, which was a while ago that Volva had sent out and about the fuel pressure regulator. And let me just read this uh, one part. Testing has determined that the fuel screen on the fuel pressure regulator can cause a restriction of the fuel return line. Restricting the return line raises fuel pressure, which can degrade engine performance. The screen has been removed in production and replaced with an E-clip beginning in 2010. So that was 12 years ago. It says regulators received from parts still have the screen. When replacing regulators, you must remove the screen and it gives you instructions. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna show you that screen. Mary and I cleaned that screen out a number of times, but now what they want you to do is they want you to take it off and replace it. So they, they want you to take it off the screen and replace it with this. Looks like the bat, bat signal a little bit. I want to be careful not to drop it in the bilge, but uh, that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to take off the pressure sensor regulator, and I'll show you what apparently we're supposed to do. I got two of these. Each of them was like 15 bucks, I think, uh, on eBay. I am going to leave a link in the description of the video to the link that Brooke sent to me. Um, I mean, it's in one of his comments, but for this video, so that you'll have it, if you have a Volvo Penta and you have problems with the electric fuel pump, uh, maybe this is uh, one of the solutions kind of long-term is to replace the screen um, that causes problems. So that fuel pressure sensor regulator is right here. And I'm gonna take this off first. And I'm gonna need a, um, a towel to put under here because it could uh, get some fuel and that's it right there so I'm gonna pull that out and show you okay I took both the fuel pressure sensor regulators off um, and they're gonna be replaced with this I don't know how to remove these I'm trying to do it gently we don't want to destroy this o-ring here so there's an o-ring here too Maybe it just needs to be a pair of pliers. I'm just grabbing the top if you can see that. Gently pry. Okay. Pry is not a pull, right? Okay, it's coming out. Okay. In a break in the screen. You can see that. Can I crack the screen? Which obviously is fine. This looks like it's all intact. And then this needs to slide in here. Okay. that look right? No, there's one with the screen, there's one without the screen. Got both of these off. 
and I don't want to blow myself up, but I think I'm doing this right. This is where I put this one, but it spins. I don't know if it's supposed to spin or not. In the groove, in the small tube of the regulator. And that means to me that would be right, right here. Right there, there's a little bit of a groove. So just like this. It snaps in, but again, it, it rotates, and I wasn't sure that that's what it's supposed to do, but I guess it is. Put that back in now. It's a lot of fuel. snug all right I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side hope I don't blow myself up <laughs> 